Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see Combs. Yesterday, we told you how federal agents searched two of his properties as part of an investigation into alleged sex and drug trafficking. Well, today, an updated civil lawsuit makes similar allegations. Chief investigative reporter Jonathan Deans joining us from the newsroom with where this investigation stands today, John. Natalie, no criminal charges filed to date in connection with ongoing questions about alleged sex trafficking. But it appears one associate of Combs was arrested yesterday on unrelated drug charges. This is video of Sean Combs yesterday in Miami, shortly after news broke of the raids. The rapper, known as Diddy, seen pacing shortly after federal agents seized his phones at an airport before a planned trip to the Bahamas. At that airport, Miami police say they also arrested Brendan Paul, who is charged with cocaine possession. A civil lawsuit names Paul as one of Cohn's associates. This all happening after Homeland Security investigations agents descended on his multi-million dollar Los Angeles home yesterday. They could be seen carrying out boxes and bags of evidence. In Miami yesterday, a similar scene. HSI agents seen taking away evidence, including a laptop. The speed at which it appears these raids were conducted suggests that agents were concerned that they needed to secure evidence quickly and prevent anyone from destroying evidence before they got there. The searches, which lasted into the night, were based on search warrants filed here by the Southern District of New York. The matter related to sex trafficking, drugs, and other allegations previously raised in civil lawsuits against the rapper. One lawsuit updated just yesterday by a New York artist named Rodney Jones. He alleges sex trafficking, drugs, guns, and inappropriate abuse of minors were all part of an organized enterprise, with some of the activity allegedly taking place at Combs properties. Lawyers for Combs in the past have denied any wrongdoing, but have not commented since yesterday's raids. Federal prosecutors in New York have interviewed numerous women who allege wrongdoing, sources tell us, and former R&B singer and Combs' one-time partner Cassie has accused him of physically and sexually abusing her for years. Combs settled that lawsuit a day after it was filed, but Combs' lawyer says he does not admit any wrongdoing in that matter. Again, no criminal charges filed and the search warrant remains sealed. Combs again not yet commenting, but in the past has denied wrongdoing. The criminal investigation continues. David. Jonathan Dean, Star, Chief Investigative Reporter. Jonathan, thank you. Victims and witnesses for the last few months. Combs was in Miami at the time of the raid and is cooperating with this investigation. Homeland Security agents seizing electronics from the Miami and Los Angeles homes of Sean Diddy Combs in simultaneous cross-country raids executed Monday afternoon. This chopper video shows federal agents loading up cardboard box after cardboard box into vehicles. Also seen from above, SWAT teams and agents with long guns. So I think what's happening here is we're looking for the laptops, we're looking for all that information, but we're also looking to try to corroborate any of the allegations that we've seen in these civil lawsuits. While no criminal charges have been filed against the 54-year-old, a federal investigation has been underway for several months into alleged human trafficking. He's recently been the subject of several civil lawsuits, the music mogul accused of sex trafficking and abuse, allegations he vehemently denies. In an Instagram post pinned at the top of his ex-feed, he says, enough is enough, saying sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I didn't not do any of the awful things being alleged. In November, Diddy settled a lawsuit with his ex-girlfriend of 10 years, Cassie Ventura, just one day after she filed an explosive civil lawsuit under the New York Survivors Act for $30 million. Upon hearing the news about the federal search warrants executed Monday at both... Wow, hey man, check it man. Man, I'm just tapping back in, man, because it's done come to my attention that the electronics the electronics that they took, they're fishing, they're looking for something. P. Diddy, uh, Diddy was, uh, Diddy had a lot going on over all the years, man. And I said, man, what are they looking for on these computers? Anybody that think they know what they're looking for on the computers, they said it was sex trafficking. You know, what are they looking for? And I'm gonna tell you something, whatever it is they're looking for is embedded in these hard drives. I thought about that because there's all type of, you got to understand, just because you delete something, 
doesn't mean it was deleted. They have all type of software to come and get whatever you deleted. It could be 10 years ago. It could be two years ago. You could have traded a laptop in, sold a laptop, had a phone, whatever. Those phone document, the, the phone documents, the iPhone is a little bit better, but I'm telling you, whatever they had over the years, the iPads, all that, these hard drives, if just because you think you erased something doesn't necessarily mean that it was erased. So I'm telling you right now, if if if, if he thinking he erased something, or if they thinking they, they it's embedded in that hard drive, unless you I mean, it's hard to get away from it. You can erase it, delete it, and, and there's software I even you can pull it back up. It'll go back and retrieve stuff that you deleted. Your, you could have thought that you overrode it on your hard drive. It's still embedded files, man. And, and that's the thing. Whatever is done in the dark, it'll come to the light. Now, Diddy, to be honest with you, I feel like they're fishing because they hadn't really just said that, that Diddy had any. These are all speculated uh, allegations, alleged, and all type of stuff going on. But they did all that searching. They put all that money in behind and all this stuff. And they're trying to build a case. I thought, you know, when the, when the feds come, they already got something. Of course, they got witnesses and they got people who've been victimized, but they wanted something concrete. I know that's what they were doing. They had to want something that was concrete, something that they felt was going to be something they could really, really hold against them. The pressure them into taking, either making, paying some money out or either taking, you know, putting them in a situation where they have to be cornered into some time. But whatever the rate may be, Diddy was pacing back and forth, back and forth in Miami yesterday. They said he was on a flight. He wasn't on that flight, but they seized a lot of electronics. That's what they're saying. They seized a lot of electronics. They're trying to accuse him of sex trafficking. And sex trafficking is not exten extensive as you think. You think it's like it's stealing somebody to take them over here, but you could just be taking somebody from point A to point B. And they say that they really wasn't even down with what you, what you did. And then there should be there, some dating can go on. So this sex trafficking thing is something that you can play games with in these later times. Back in the day, it wasn't like that. So things have changed, man. It's not like it used to be. So, you know, I'm just, I'm really, really trying to wrap my head around what's really going down in this whole situation. Did his children was, I think they just detained him. They didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't arrest him, but, there's this one guy they're calling a mule, Brandon Hall, I believe is his name. Allegedly, this is the guy that they uh, say they took and rested. And, and hey, man, this guy right here, uh, he looked like, they say they might have caught him with something on him, some of that white girl on him. I don't know. They say that white girl, he might have been on that white girl. I don't know what's going on. How they catch him with it? You know, caught him red-handed. I don't understand what's going on with this whole case, but I do know it seems like a fishing case. It doesn't seem like they have all their ducks in a row. They're, put, they're trying to get them in a row, but it's more to come out on this, man. I just, you know, as kids, man, I know they got to be all confused. They ain't never been detained like that. They ain't never had to deal with nothing like that. Them kids ain't never seen nothing like this happen. I mean, it hit, it didn't hit hard yesterday. And I don't know if y'all ever been in a raid, but it don't just, you don't think, it seemed like when somebody violates your stuff, I've been in a raid. When they come in and they throw stuff over, chunk desk, move stuff, move, you don't even feel the same sleeping in that house. You don't even feel the same being in that house. You've been violated. It is almost even in even in prison, they're taking, they'll come in and uh, uh, tear your house up, trying to look for contraband and all kind of stuff, rip everything apart. It's just a mind thing when they come into your personal space and just throw everything around and you have to go back and pick your laptop up. Well, they took the laptop, pick your desk up. Well, you know, pick your TV up. And I'm going to tell you something. They might've come say some of them TVs. Now them TVs be having information on them too. Them 4Ks. These are smart items. And that's the part where you got to be careful, man. I'm going to tap into reality TV and just get her insight on it, man. Uh, we've been following this pretty close, so I felt like we better bring y'all something. But the latest development is these electronics, man. These electronics, they got, do they have something on those hard drives? Uh, Reality TV, are you there? I am, and I've been 
see that Suge Knight made a statement. And his statement was basically saying that the raid went for P. Diddy. It was for, to get rid of the incriminating evidence of powerful people. Oh, so he flipped it. Yeah, he flipped it. So he's saying and they're so going in there trying to find ways to try to, if anybody else is connected to it, they're trying to X them out the game. Yeah, they, they raided the house to get rid of the incriminating stuff. For the people who they might not want to be exposed. Right. That's a good way to look at it. I, I didn't think of it like that. Suge Knight might be on to something. You know, he is in behind doors, so he knows, and he definitely done been through this, so he would be one that could definitely uh, relate to the situation, right? Yeah. Wow. I did see that he, uh, he uh, sold off all of his uh, Reebok shares to an unknown buyer. Wow, man, that's crazy. Well, I can tell you right now, man, he's he he know, he's seen this coming a mile away. But like I said, if he didn't get rid of them electronics, he had all the time in the world to. That's what I say about, you know, they looking and they coming. Why would you hold on to stuff that you know is going to put you in a situation? Much more as he got, he could have bought all new electronics uh, within the last two months and took all that stuff and got rid of it. Yeah. I heard, I did hear something through the grapevine. What'd you hear through the grapevine? That uh, Jay Z might need to get ready because they're coming for him next. What? Not Jay Z. This is what I heard now. I don't know if it's true. Or Alleged? Not. Allegedly. Oh, man. Well, I, I I just really, you know, like I said, all the guys that's getting, has gotten this money, you think they're just trying to do a plot to get, to, get this bread back? But that's what they say that they do. It's, it's a, a cycle. Well, I tell you, man. Wow, wow. wow. I just think it's a, it's a tough situation when you start looking at it from that perspective, man. Um, man, hey, we praying for we praying for the billionaire black guys. What about Dr. Dre? Is he okay? What about Robert Smith? Is he okay? What about? They passed a new law too. I remember. You remember that that new law that came in effect. Uh, no, I don't. What would you talk? Which law? Well, you might have to pull it up and just show everybody. I don't talk politics and stuff, so I just let everybody go. Well, I just know when you look at all these millionaires, Bob Johnson, uh, uh, Byron, Byron, I believe Byron Allen, whatever the case may be, if you got a lot of money and you got a lot of power and you, and you don't look like the others, um, clean, get your house in order because it's a good chance they coming for, they coming back for that number one spot. Tyler well, Perry. Ladies. What about Tyler Perry? Is Tyler Perry in the clear? Oprah in the clear? What's going on? Just I feel like let this be a lesson to anybody that feel like they are untouchable. Let this be a lesson that you can come crumbling down at any time. Wow. Any time. Wow. Only God is in charge. Wow. Boy, I tell you, that's that's some powerful words, man. But like I said, man, um, uh, we just gonna wait and see as as, as things develop, man. It, it's crazy. He, I, regardless of this whole situation, if he did, if he did, the outcome is still it's not he's, it's not gonna be the same. Wow. No matter what. Wow. Hey, man, let us know. Get in the comments. Let us know, man. Did what do you think about this? What is on them computers? What do you guys think on them on them laptops, the boxes of stuff that they hauled out of all these locations? Uh, they had one in uh, Miami, one in uh, California, and and they're they're looking in New York to see if they can find more. What are they looking for? What are they trying to find on these hard drives? Is Suge Knight truth telling the truth? Do you really think they're looking for ways to keep others out of the situation so that they don't get them caught up? So that when they do get him. They want to make sure they isolate who they want to isolate to make sure they keep everybody that they don't want to be in problematic situations clear of the situation. Let us know in the comments. Or do you think they just looking for stuff for Diddy? Let us know. Hey, man, appreciate you. Make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you become members of Boss Talk 101. I'm going to be bringing this uh, as it develops, man, just like I've always done here. i just been staying on this one for some reason because everybody's talking about it. It's everywhere, man. Hey, man. Say, man. Check it, man.
It's been another great segment, man. Hey, one of them dope Boss Talk 101 reviews. Holla at your boy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.